and welcome everyone in another episode of Let's Try. We are playing the Swarmancer. Uh, in the last episode, uh, at the end, or towards the end, we got some interesting combination of this and this skill, which is like the wall and we create, like, uh, if you shoot projectile, it creates true. And we use the ball and... I had this equipped first, but I played somewhat in between. However, uh, if you do this, like this is how it shoots many projectiles, you put it through, it creates a copy, so it doubles basically like this. Way too dang. <laughs> but I played offline and I tested this skill, which makes it bigger basically, like like this which is crazy, however, if it has longer cooldown, but it seems okay for my testing, if you put this through, oh my gosh, it's like, <laughs> the spread is crazy, and on top of it, I also leveled up this, and like, what I want to invest later on, basically, Maybe, like, some things I don't like as much, I would change, but, eh, it's okay, it's okay. But for now, we are gonna use this, maybe. But, yeah, I wanna go into the expeditions and farm some Elder Swarm, because I used all of it, as you can see here. And, as you can see... We are at 457 and it was still good, like, not too bad. Also, our weapon is level 44 and our, 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 what? There was something else. Uh, ah, inventory, yep. We got upgrades for our uh, rings. So now we are only missing this bracelet, I think it is. To get like the epic here, it's rebound, which is like eh, okay. And here is in the fire max charges, which is also kind of useless. But it's overall, I guess, a good like replacement for now. So let's hop straight into the expedition. We are gonna do a few floors. As you can see, I did this, and we are gonna hop. It takes a little bit slower to go, but. I feel like we get more rewards overall, so let's jump into that. As you can see, it like wrecks the HP of the enemies here. So that's pretty crazy. I am really enjoying the the, the, the the balls. Like if you look at this, it, it since, since it's so big and it shoots so many, it overlaps like so much on to like if you focus it point blank like almost all of them hit basically and that's that, that's something I guess like this build or what happened with it is actually kind of crazy like I, I love this it's like chaos all over the place this is insane Okay, okay, and then last room, yep, yep, um, I don't like how this is here, oh, no, 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 and the last guys here, okay, and deleted, boys, how much did we get, this cinema? Yeah, I feel like in, in uh, the higher levels, or higher rat, you get probably more, uh, what is it called? Elder Swarm? I don't know if it's true, but it definitely feels like that. So, yeah. And also, while in temple, I think the more elites you get in the temple, the, like, you get a certain amount of pure swarm, like 5 pure swarm per room, let's say, right? 
but I feel like you also get uh, some, like on top of it, some pure swarm from the uh, like from the elites that you encounter. I don't know if it's true or if it's confirmed, but I think that is the case. But I mean, I might be still wrong, but I feel like from my playing and testing, I think that's the case. Yeah, there's definitely potentials of for like for many things. But we are gonna get like look into it. Uh, I don't see anything here, so I'm gonna get rid of the greens and look at the blues only here. I mean, we are still missing the. No, no, that's no, no. We're still looking for the bracelet. That's that's the one thing that we are missing to be full epic, basically. We're getting more and more things here. That's good. We need to stock up before our big, big crafting session. So yeah. Uh, no, this. Are we level forty six. Good. Uh, here, like if I do this, as you can see here, I spend points here. So whenever we get hit, we restore mana. I mean, uh, now I just highlighted the points that I want to invest into. I don't know if this skill overall will be like used much. Like I, I don't see too much use for it. So I don't know. But now we cast it ourselves, but however we have this which we can equip. And that means the clone will cast the balls. I don't know if they cast all of them, but I think that's the case. I mean it's kinda expensive, so yeah. And in here, let's go. Uh, we get mana when we get hit. Good. From those three, I'm not sure because I don't want inner fire or anything. So I don't think I'm going to be taking this. And arcane barrier, since we are not using it much, I would rather take this. The crit like crit critical strikes gives us for one second silence on the enemies. Helpful. Not all the time, but helpful. Here, the arcane barrier, like this skill, we are not gonna use that much, so I feel like, eh, it will be for like ex defense mostly. I don't know. Here, whenever uh, the enemy deals damage to you, you have a chance to time lock them. So when we get hit, there is a chance that the enemy will just get frozen in time, so they will not be continuously doing damage to us, which is good as a defense. Here, another one of those, and here there are two points. For now, I'm having this, the Arcane Bone deals damage, just one point. But if I go with the claws, this will be the thing, the attack speed. Because attack speed equals like cooldown reduction. So this will be a good thing for our clones. On the next one, here, it's okay. Remnant skills, we'll have crit strike. It's okay if we cast the balls and they would split and blah blah. That would be interesting or something. Rebound or fork. But this one, you have mana, uh, you have armor, and armor is equal to our maximum mana to some percentage. But, like 8%. However, we our build is full about mana. Like, we are going full on mana gimmick. So, like, still, we are gonna go, like, all with it, but I'm not sure. I might switch, but for now, we are still gonna go mana. And this will give us armor, so armor means defense. That's a good point, because we are missing. After we switched our weapons, we lost, because of the weapon, we lost like 2,000, over 2,000 HP. So now we are very, very squishy. Like we can get killed very easily. So yeah, here, uh, like our clones will cast the barrier. The thing about the barrier is, it's for the projectiles. And there is many mobs which don't have projectiles. So <sighs> yeah, it's... I don't know. It's it's probably good, but I'm not gonna see use for it, at least for now. Maybe eventually I might throw a build around this, but no. For now, here, retaliation, 168%. Like, with this, if I switch to the weapon that we had originally, this one, you can see here, <laughs> it gives us... 
crap ton of the percentage stones damage because like like let, let's see here uh where is it oh no no i can go here so here uh we have uh no 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 i need to switch the the scale here okay so ah but it doesn't count right yep 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 this doesn't count because it scales for mana Ah, that's it. Yeah, like with this, we have 4,615 with this mastery, I guess. And here, if we switch this, how much we have? Uh, 268. But if I switch the weapon, this gives us 2,000. <laughs> and when we go back to our mana, the numbers will go crazy here. <laughs> we have 11,000, like, <sighs> yikes. Oh man, I'm, I'm so sad. Okay, so here, as you can see, 1,300 with this weapon. Uh, we switch, nothing. <laughs> with, with, are this specialization but yeah this this could be crazy so let's go back to this one and where what where were we yeah so here we get retaliation and later on we get probably clone i mean i can invest into it now and then use it later but for now we do retaliation because my idea of the build was i use the guys and like go around and get hit basically but since we don't scale that much Torn's damage, I'm thinking the guys will do the damage and I will be there like a support and soak up damage and like Torn's and stuff. But for that, I want to see what this stuff evolves into. And if I don't like it, I might do this one because this scales the mana even further <laughs> and you get damage based on the mana. So that could be interesting. I mean, there are different things like this, the uh, or 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 where was it? This one? No, this one. I think it was. Uh, deal damage restore. Yeah, like it restores mana. Uh, when you are deal damage, you restore mana. So when we get hit, our mana gets taken. But when we get hit here, we restore the mana basically. And when we cast the skill, we restore HP. So we will be losing HP and mana, and from this weapon, we would be getting and losing the HP. Uh, wait, no, from the, whatever. Like th this could be helpful for our build. And here, there's some obvious one like this for the shielding. And even now, this gives a shield, and maybe. It will be better with the evolve version we will see like it could be good it could be good and and uh from here i don't do now much arcane bond so i don't know so I'm not investing into this here but this one we don't have the melee damage reduction or projectile damage reduction so there is not increased damage for our melee or projectile skills which is okay but our AOE skills have increased damage and damage is equal to our uh, area damage reduction. So yeah, that's actually like it's useful because the lower the HP goes, or was it a different one? No, no, no. The lower the HP goes here. Uh, where was it? Here. The lower the HP goes, we will get some area damage reduction and with this skill area damage reduction so mo the less hp we have the more aoe uh, damage reduction we get which means it equals more aoe but my our aoe effects deal more damage so it's helpful this is helpful this not so much for us now and in the last one now i'm using this is like the obvious one like the gimmick with the mana and it's actually go it actually goes to 25 percent which is kind of crazy 
and I think this is really good as a defense. On top of this, so this is like two defense points, very helpful. I was thinking about this as well, but we don't lose that much mana, and it's also the Arcane Bond, so it's like, ah. like Arcane Bond deals elemental damage every second, equal to 7% of your mana you have restored during that second. But we are not spending too much mana here, so I don't know, like, if, if I would go here and use this one for increased mana, then this, uh, then this would be good, probably. This would be good. And here is another obvious one, one clone. So if we go with this one, wait a minute, let's test it out. Let, let's spend here and here because it's like one point. We have like one, two. And let's get those guys. Now, how many we can cast? That's the question. So, one. Oh boy, the slowdown is. Two. Actually, I'm using all of mana here. We can have three. Oh my god. Can we do another one here? No, okay, so it's three. That, that's kind of insane. Or no? <laughs> I think that's kind of insane. And yeah, if they shoot big ones, that's. Ooh, that, that will be a lot of fun, I, I feel like. So, I mean, I can have this clip now. And yeah, that's interesting here. That's okay. Uh, yeah, we don't want this one. Like, this is probably the best one here because, yeah. And here, go back. So we can do that, but maybe we don't need three here. So I'm gonna go into back to this one and go with that. Retaliation is good. In, in the next episode, I'll try to go with the clones. I don't know how good it will be. We will go into temple and test it out. So maybe we will have like different builds for different things. Because the wall deals crazy damage here. So yeah. In the next episode, we'll test this, this thing out. So yeah, that's it for those things. And now let's invest our 200,000. So is there something that is lower level? Five levels. Not as useful though. Uh, we restore. Can we go into this? More damage. You know what? I think I will go with that but it's 10. Do I want to go with that or do I want to invest into this? I feel like I want to invest here because this is actually helpful. Like, can I get this to max, you know? I don't think I can. I can oof used all of it here. Wow, that's expensive. And... <laughs> That's crazy! We can spend one point here, and can we spend something here? Ah, this one. We don't have. Ah, oh, this has two points. I forgot about this. I could have maxed it out. Oh well, we will get back to it later. And here, 4k, and here. More damage when we get hit. That's good. That's, that's pretty good. We get like mana back when we get hit. So in the next episode, we're gonna test this out. Like this setup with one clone and this. So we will see like how they shoot basically. So that, that will be fun. Our barrier, it can act as a like quick defense, but we are not gonna like focus on it for now. As you can see, we didn't spend any points into it, so it will be it will be just there. It's like I don't know, like it will be fine, I guess, but nothing like major. Yeah, it's kind of sad because you either need to go with the guys for the barrier or like the, the, the clones, like it forces you and I mean, yeah, it, it's difficult. Like decision is decision, just decision is so yeah. Here, torn damage, like how much torn damage do we have actually? 200? 
Maybe I should switch. Like I have the I had this stuff just because of the wall. And I think that's the case, like how we go, but after you know what? Yeah, that might be the case. Depending I will do this. When this evolves, we will see what it does. And we might go to this one because the more mana we have, it will scale more with this, obviously, and with this. So and we will get like raw damage on top of it from this weapon. Because it also scales from mana, so we might get to this weapon afterwards. But for now, let's go with this one to level it up. Just even though now it's not doing anything with this set like this setup. Uh, like if we switch to our specialization, then yeah, it it's actually good, and it actually gives us like four thousand six hundred torrent damage just like that. With this weapon, we had how much? Four point six. So we are on the same level, basically. Like look at this. This gives us four thousand six hundred HP, basically. With this, we have six thousand six hundred. That's kind of crazy, right? So yeah, with this. We lose some, it's okay, not too bad, but yeah, we will go with this, level it up, see how it is, and then we are gonna switch probably like between the skills and such, so yeah, we have some new toys to play with, <laughs> we will see, we will see, depending on how the build goes and such, we can even maybe go here, but yeah, so now we have like one, two... Here, 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 okay, that's equipped, equipped, and what else, yeah, here this first throw is kind of janky, but maybe this, but I'm not sure, maybe if we invest into rebound, or fork, fork could be good, because it increases just damage, so we see, we'll see, we'll see. So I guess that's it for this episode, guys, thank you guys for watching, and see you in the next one.